welcome to this week's episode of Squad Watch. Every week I take a quick look at which businesses are making it easier for us to live more sustainably. I'm set up in my kitchen today and I realised what's on... Um, can you see this? <laughs> look at that. That is from a hen party. That's from my hen party and these are from many hen parties. Always keep your willy straws. Quick shout out to the person responsible for my graphics, the Sustainable Squad graphics. It is, of course, Anime Sean. He's actually my brother, my brother Sean, but he's also a very, very talented animator. And if you check out his Instagram account, you can see his personality shine through his very cool little short animations. <laughs> There are things that happen in the world that make you feel really sad, but at the same time, you have no idea how you can help. And the Amazon being on fire is one of those things for me. What on earth am I gonna be able to do to help prevent that from happening? Well, there is a company called Ecosia, and you may have been targeted with one of their ads recently, and they're effectively a search engine. And instead of using Google, you use these guys. But why? The reason is, every time we use Ecosia to search for something on the internet, we contribute towards a, a funding pot. And that funding pot goes towards things like planting trees in the rainforest. I think around 45 searches equates to being able to plant one tree. So we have to make it a habit. Definitely go and check out their website because it talks about all the fantastic projects they're helping with. One of which is the damage that cocaine does to the rainforest. What these illegal farmers do is they clear loads of land, they clear it from all the trees and the vegetation and they grow the coca leaves there. I want to say a thank you to some of our sustainable squad this week. Kyle, Jenna, Helen and Cherry all sent me the same message about this company called Wyatt and Jack. Inflatables play a massive part in our summer fun. You've got flamingos, llamas, unicorns, all the way down to like armbands and rubber rings for the little ones to learn how to swim. But the problem is, what do you do with them if they get punctured? I wouldn't know where to take them. You take them to Wyatt and Jack. So these guys are turning inflatables into accessories. Bags, wallets, they look really cool, very different, a little bit funky. I love this. We have a double blow up mattress that has a puncture. We cannot find the puncture, therefore we cannot fix the mattress. Wyatt and Jack, is this something that you can take off my hands? <laughs> Surfers Against Sewage, the amazing organisation behind the likes of the Two Minute Beach Clean, the reason why things like plastic stirrers and cotton buds are being banned, they're at it again with hashtag cut the cup. Over 5 billion single use coffee cups are used every single year in the UK. Only about 4% of them are recyclable. Hello. I'm a huge advocate of the reusable coffee cup. So much so, if I forget it, I would much rather go without coffee than get a disposable cup. So Surfers Against Sewage have teamed up with the likes of the Marine Conservation Society, Keep Britain Tidy, Greenpeace, amongst others. And they're trying to put pressure on the government to make a 25p tax for disposable cups a necessity, an absolute law. So firstly, get yourself a refillable coffee cup. Secondly, get into the habit of taking it wherever you go. And thirdly, if you go to my bio, I'm gonna put the link to the petition right there. So do go on there, sign the petition, and let's cut the cup. And finally for this week, we're off to Snowdon on a trekking, cycling and kayaking adventure. But what's really, really lovely about the company that's organising it, they have a massive, massive sustainable side to the business. Firstly, 5% of all their profits go to conservation projects and their aim is to be the most planet positive business ever. I am going to tell you more about this because I plan to do a proper vlog, like a proper YouTuber type 
vlog on the whole weekend, which I'm really excited about. Plus, I have full permission from Charlie, the other half, to do it, which is rare, let me tell you. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching this week. If there's any companies that you're aware of that you think are brilliant and would like me to feature here, then please send me a message and I would be happy to do so. See ya.